Love you. Love you. That was oh, a that peck. was bad. Gosh, why did I do that? That was bad. Okay, be sure you edit that out. Growing up as a kid, I was, I was more of the, the quiet type, I guess. That's kind of how we consider it. Oh, didn't really, wasn't really super outgoing, I guess. Growing up, I was very loud and bubbly. I always wanted to be the center of attention. I had a lot of fun. I had a great childhood. My parents provided us with a lot growing up. There was a time when uh, my papa, he bought me a wedding dress when I was a little girl, and so I have a video of putting it on, and so I think that was kind of when I got really excited about, oh, like one day I'll have a, an actual wedding dress, so. I gotta be honest, I, I didn't, um, <laughs> didn't really think about that sort of thing for quite some time. The first time I met Brady was, I was a senior in high school and he was a freshman in college. Oh, wow. Okay, so um, Abby and I were in this uh, organization called FCCLA. Um, kind of the funny backstory to that is a lot of guys would get into that for, because um, there was a lot of cute girls in FCCLA. We both met up in Lincoln for the state conference. Him and his friends were in charge of this group, and I was um, kind of supposed to do whatever they told told us to. At the time, I just thought he was a cute guy. I didn't think anything of it. I just thought, oh, he's really cute, but never will I see him. I always kind of thought she was cute and stuff. Uh, horrible having conversations with the girls, I'll admit, back then. <laughs> oh, first date, um, you know what? Well, wait, which first date? He's the one that asked me to go out. We were at Applebee's for like three hours, just talking. It was, I've never been able to talk to a guy that much in my life. But the more we got to talking, the more we realized that we were kind of in different chapters of life. He had just um, graduated from college at Northeast in Norfolk, and I was just getting into college. And We just kind of ended up talking and decided that uh, the timing just wasn't right for both of us. And uh, we just kind of moved on. But then, you know, I would always, I would always think about her. I just knew that Abby was definitely the right one. And that I know that's just Brady. When he finds something that he enjoys or loves, he he sticks with it. And so he just he was always told me that he knew like God put me in his life for a reason, even when I didn't know it. After I knew that she had kind of graduated, was kind of getting into things, I was the one that started talking to her more again and, and kind of reissued things. So not many people can say that they've had two first dates. And from there, I just knew that, that he was the one. I'm so happy that Jeff and Carol raised Brady to be such a great guy. One of the things that I love about Brady is his heart and his faith. He always puts God first. He is always supporting me and will do anything for me. He's not afraid to show his emotions, which I love that about him. Abby is just the most amazing person ever. Uh, just when you, when you see Abby, you just know that she stands out because just because of that glowing personality that she has. Without even meeting Abby to begin with, you just you can just tell that that's a girl that really has things together. Shortly into when we started dating after October, her birthday was in December, and I remember I wanted to tell her I love her. Did tell her I love her, and I told her so I've been wanting to tell you that for a long time. I just didn't know know how to or uh, if you felt the same way, but it was definitely mutual. It was the same way, so. The 
we, I went out with her dad to, uh, to go drop some stuff off. And it was the time that I needed to address this and, and, and ask about um, being able to uh, have Abby's, Abby's hand in marriage. And he just didn't even hesitate. He said, you know, absolutely. And uh, we talked a lot about the future. Her family is absolutely amazing. Uh, everything they've done for me and and uh, just caring and, and definitely taking me in. They're just, they're, they're very great. He proposed in October and the proposal was at Lake Maloney here in North Platte. They have like this rock island and so we were walking out there and... I just, uh, just had a feeling that it was a, it was a good a very good night to do it, and uh, so I pulled out the, the ring and kneeled down, and I, I told Abby, I said, you know, you are absolutely the most amazing girl in the world that I could ever ask for. You, you've, you do so many things for me, and, and you're always here and so caring, and, and uh, it's helping me strive to be a better, to better man, be a better man every day and uh, just want to ask for your hand in marriage. And of course she said yes, so <laughs> that, was, that was good. <laughs> Abby is going to make the most amazing wife for me and uh, mother for our kids someday. The husband that I think Brady is going to be is, he's definitely going to be supportive, um, a very good caretaker and he will be a, an amazing dad. He will be very silly, he'll be one of those dads that's probably embarrassing, but that's just how Brady will be. He does dad jokes now, so that will be, that would be Brady. Abby, uh, I just want you to know that I love you so much and I'm so excited for our future together and uh, everything to come. Brady, I want you to look around and I want you to look at all the people that came here for our wedding day today and just know how much love that we have for them and how much love that they have for us and that we get to share that with them. I'm so excited to start our next chapter of life together and I'm so grateful and thankful that I have you in my life, that God put you in my life and I love you so much and I can't wait um, to see where our story will go next. I just want to say thank you to all of our loved ones who came to our wedding to be a part of our special day today. Your love and support means so much to us and for our parents, thank you for everything you've done for us and for giving us good memories and for raising us right so those memories that we will cherish forever. We just really are so thankful for all of our family and friends that are here with us today. Uh, Thank you everyone for uh, being here through Abby and I's lives. We love everyone and uh, we thank you guys so much for everything.